Just in at 11, newly released 911 calls in connection to the death of a 20-year-old woman. The calls coming from the man deputies say killed her. News 6's Troy Campbell joins us live from the Seminole County Jail. And Troy, the suspect told dispatchers he was the victim. Well, Lisa, the 26-year-old suspect, according to deputies, said that he was shot by an intruder who killed his friend. But tonight, detectives say everything he said on the phone with dispatchers was a lie trying to cover up his crime. Now he's sitting here in jail. Take a listen. I don't know if my friend's breathing. On a call placed to Seminole County dispatchers just before 10.30 Friday morning, 26-year-old Askar Ulfer appears panicked and he's heard saying he pulled up to this home on Gina Court to drop off a key to a friend when he was met by a masked female intruder with a gun shooting him in the foot. Do you know who it was that shot you? No, they were wearing a mask. Ulfer goes on to claim he found his friend, 20-year-old Christina Scar, tied up on the floor with duct tape covering her mouth and not breathing. We need to go ahead and start I, CPR. I, I don't, I don't, um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have anything to take the duct tape off of. I don't have anything to take the duct tape off with. But investigators say his story started to crack. They say the 20 year old victim was found with her legs tied with cables. The arresting affidavit stating a backpack was found inside Ulfer's car in the driveway, which contained the same type of black cable ties. This surveillance video from a neighbor showing who is believed to be Ulfer walking away from the home only to return 20 minutes later to call 911, saying he just arrived to the house for the first time. It doesn't really look like she's breathing. You don't see her it chest doesn't look like she's... No, no. Oh my God. And detectives say they were able to get a hold of some surveillance images from a nearby Walmart. And they say that that showed him buying duct tape and cable ties just two days prior to the killing. He remains here at the Seminole County Jail without bond. Lisa, Matt. Troy Campbell reporting live for us. Thank you.